Welcome everyone, this is a Generation 1 Transformers review and today I'll be taking a look at Hardhead from Series 4 of the toy line and let's take a look at the box first. I happen to have a box for this guy which is really cool and I'm always a fan of not only collecting the figures but also the boxes that come in. It's uh, kind of like owning a piece of history and this is actually in pretty good condition as you can see it's glossy and there really are not a whole lot of you know, damage to it. And take a look at the back here. There's a really cool battle scene there. And of course you've got the description or the bio of the actual transformer as well as the tech specs. And if we take a look here, his function is ground assault and his quote is, it's either my way or no way. So apparently that's why he gets his name Hardhead. And I have the special red decoder so that you can make out better the actual uh, stats. So that's the box. And I do have the original manual here. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Get the box out of the way. Here is Hardhead. And a very nice tank mode, as you can see. Now this weapon does articulate just a little bit. It'll actually rotate more once we get this guy into robot mode. Uh, these guns actually can come out and they are used in robot mode. And there's actually four wheels, as you can see there. So it does roll pretty well. And I guess if you're going to be whimsical, you could go ahead and, you know, take out the hands, which are right here, and stick the guns in here. This is not official, of course. This is kind of something I came up with while I was just kind of playing around with the toy. So you've got it like this. So, anyways, on to the transformation. Well, I guess one more thing here is the little uh, driver's area. And if we open it up, we see this is Duros. It's his Minicon partner, as you can see there. And to transform him, just very easily, uh, you just go ahead and fold this in like that. And you've got your headmaster. Um, by the way, there's not really much articulation. You can see the arms do, you know, move. Although they seem kind of stiff now, so I'm not going to force those. And of course the legs move for the transformation. Alright, so on to the transformation. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, being a G1 toy. Uh, go ahead and pull it apart like this. And as you see, it falls down like that. Um, taking care of the legs first. There's this joint right here. You want to pull this down and straighten out the leg like that. Uh, do the same thing over here. And all the while being careful not to damage anything. And the feet come out here. Pull them down. And as you saw earlier, the hands just fold out behind here, like that. And then this thing tabs in the back, like that. And you put the head in there. <clears throat> now what this does, it's actually keyed to this particular uh, headmaster. If you put this in, What it actually does is it actually displays a strength, intelligence, uh, actually speed, intelligence, and strength. It's actually in there. This is really stiff, and I did try to open it up, tried to open it up off, off camera, and it was really felt like it's going to break. So I'll show you what the, what it does right here in the box. You can see once you put the head in the slot, it'll read out the speed, strength, and intelligence. Uh, but unfortunately on this guy, it's really, really stiff, and being a 
1987 vintage toy, I am not going to risk breaking this or stressing the plastic. So, uh, and anyways, you can rotate this down, and then you can put the guns in the hands. There's just simply peg holes, as you can see. Now, one big problem I have with this guy, with with this figure, if we take this section back off here and show you. There is just an enormous amount of empty space there. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. I really don't like that. And I guess, you know, it was, it was kind of my fault. I bought the figure because it looked good in alt mode, but I didn't really, I guess, watch enough reviews of it or whatever to see that this actually is very, very hollow back there. And as you can see, there's nothing... You know, the waist doesn't move, you can't even move the legs, you know. It's it's actually, ironically, this figure is, you know, a Series 4 Transformer that came out about 1987. And there's other, you know, previous generation Transformers that are much more articulated, much better looking than this. So I don't know what happened with Series 4. Some of the Series 4 stuff was pretty good. Uh, you got the Technobots with Computron. And, you got Fortress Maximus, but uh, this guy, I, I just really, really don't like that. So, uh, I, I got him because he, because he was a headmaster, and I got him because he looked good uh, in his alt mode, but I didn't really do enough research, I guess, to find out. Yeah, there, and there's, this is not the only one in which that it transforms like this. It, it's, there's some other ones that do this as well, and it's just, ah, it's, it's terrible. I mean, I can forgive a lot with Generation 1 Transformers, and Series 1 through 3 are really, really good. And then I think after that, there were some increasingly more hit-and-miss Transformers, and this is one of the misses, I think, in my opinion. Uh, alt mode looks great, but uh, I just don't like that. So yeah, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to be selling this on eBay. Um, I, I just don't like it that much, and there's no point in keeping this around. Uh, I could sell this for a pretty good price, probably, uh, being a vintage 1980s toy and being a headmaster. So, Alright, well this has been my review of the Generation 1 Transformer Headmaster Hardhead. Thanks for watching.